Hey folks, Tanner Cherney up here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, coming to you from the comforts of my air-conditioned office. Uh, actually just finishing up a few things here. I'm actually getting out and heading out of town for the weekend on a little trip. So wanted to get a quick report in before I, I got to the airport later this evening. Um, but things have been doing, the lake has been going crazy right now. I tell you what, you know, we talked about the spring and summer, how the numbers were looking, how the bite was, and it's just continued into, uh, you know, the end of July here. Um, it's been one of the best years for walleye fishing on Devil's Lake in the last 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. You talk to some of the guides, it's, uh, it's been quite amazing to see what's come out of here. Um, you know, we're into those dog days of summer. We've had some sweltering temperatures the last five days or so, but that hasn't definitely deterred the walleyes from biting. We're very fortunate in Devil's Lake that we do have some dirty water with the algae that starts to grow on this, which helps keep that sunlight from penetrating through that water and turning those walleyes off during the day. So we're just getting into our best season best walleye fishing of the season, um, it's our trolling bite, whether that's bottom bouncers and spinners and smile blades, or you're trolling crankbaits on lead core. Um, kind of the two tactics right now, uh, there's still guys, you can fish however you want, and there's still walleyes being produced on jigs and bobbers, but the one-two punch right now is lead core trolling and bottom bouncers and spinners. Um, general rule of thumb, you're gonna be wanted, you're gonna wanna troll in that 20 to 25 foot of water, um, variable depending on day, but that's going to be that old lake shoreline like we showed you on Google Earth here a couple weeks ago. And another tip is this Navionics web map I've got on the back of my computer here. You can also use it and download it as an app on your phone. So if you don't have the best GPS or lake maps necessarily in your boat, this is a great tool. I use it ice fishing all the time, but uh, for open water fishing, fantastic way to find those um, old lake shorelines and those rock humps. Uh, one ounce of weight for every 10 feet of water you're fishing in. 0 0.8, 0 0.9 on the low end to 1.2 miles an hour. Um, bright colors on bright sunny days like this, you get a cloudy day, maybe you change that color up. Um, you got multiple people in the boat, don't be afraid to try different colors in everyone's lines to figure out what the fish will perform, prefer. It can change day by day and it can change actually hour by hour. So being able to adapt and swap colors, change speeds makes a big difference. Um, and then when it comes to crankbaits on lead core, you're pulling those plugs, um, you're going to be anywhere from two, probably to two and a half miles an hour, depending on depth and size of lure that you're trolling. Um, same thing for that old lake shorelines, set your trolling pattern. And biggest thing is when you start to mark a few fish and you start to catch a few, mark that waypoint, turn back over and just keep working. And you know, as the old saying goes, got to make hay while the sun is shining. Well, when you find active walleyes, when you find one or two, there's usually a, a, a pretty good school of them right there. So you can make a quick limit pretty quick if you find active fish. Um, if you're out and about in the area, whether it was like our rib fest we had last weekend, which was amazing turnout, um, you're out hiking at Whitehorse Hill, you're out recreating in Creole Bay, or you're fishing or doing whatever it may be, share your images with us on social media using hashtag Devil's Lake ND. Um, and when I get back from my trip this weekend, hopefully I'll be on the water next week and give you an updated report from on the water. But wanted to get this out before I headed out for the long weekend and uh, hope everyone has a, a safe and happy weekend and keep the lines tight.